This is a model by IMC Models. It's a big Scania 8x4 tractor, and it's paired up with a Notabom 2 Plus 6 semi-low loader. It comes in excellent packaging with a shipping carton protecting a high quality box. Opening it up there's more high quality in terms of foam rubber protecting the model. And it's in the colours of the Finnish company Havator. There's a small booklet included and it's very good because it starts off with plenty of information and nice photos about the real trailer. And that's always a plus point for a model. The booklet is reversible so if we switch it around. We firstly notice the Tonkin Replicas logo showing that this model was first developed by them. And there are step by step instructions showing you how to assemble the trailer. Another nice inclusion with the model is a Notabom collector card. Oh, and for a special offer on this model, see the video description below. Remember, if you want to support the Cranes Etc team, you can do so over on our Patreon page, and the link is in the video description. The Scania is a techno model, so it comes with a spare fifth wheel more suitable for techno trailers. And there are a couple of roof aerials to fit. However, the first thing to notice is that they are extremely loose fitting in the holes. And one thing's for certain, we certainly don't like gluing models. So here's the Cranes Etc workaround, which is a small blob of plastic putty. And that does just enough to fill the hole and hold the aerial securely. And it also means you can remove it later if you want to. There is more to do, but the next operation is to join up the tractor and trailer. And Clunk Click does the trick. There are a couple of support legs to fit and these just press in at the front of the trailer. And then you can hold them in the up or down position using tiny L-shaped pins. If you've got salami sized fingers, then you might want to thin them down a bit. Next we'll install some side boards around the gooseneck. These are metal and they press into holes and they're a good fit. Once that's done we can put some things inside. And that includes two spare wheels which are on stands and they just clip into holes in the gooseneck deck. And we can also add in a generator unit. Moving to the back of the trailer there are more things to add and that includes a pair of marker boards. But these are quite loose fitting and they will come out easily. Even more loose fitting are some rear beacon lights. And you definitely would want to use some plastic putty or something with those otherwise you will lose them. There are two even smaller side lights. And again, they'll be easily lost if you don't secure them properly. This particular model does come with two boom supports. And these are for the boom of the Liebherr LTM 11200 mobile crane. The Scania is made by Techno, so the chassis is a mix of good detailing and functional modelling. But one thing that is certain is the Scania cab looks great, particularly in the Havator colour scheme. Behind the equipment tower there are coiled airlines, but a high point of the detailing is that equipment tower, with its high quality metalwork. The big semi-low loader is very detailed, with many hoses and tanks detailed on the chassis. The detailing is at a very high level including these graphics on the control console on the gooseneck. And there's a yellow stripe and more tiny graphics down the edges of the deck. The detailing continues through to the back where there are more nice Notabome logos. For the review of the features we'll firstly get out on the road in the Scania. And it rolls well enough in a straight line. There is link steering on the front two axles so let's give it a try. And the range of movement is fairly restricted. But as always something is better than nothing. The big cab tilts well enough and underneath there's a reasonable engine. That's the tractor so let's move on to the trailer. And overall it's a very nice piece of model engineering beginning with the steering of the axles. And they are proportional at the rear. And the two axle dolly has parallel steering. Also nice is that each of the axles has independent sprung suspension. So there is a lot of model engineering in the trailer and it's been done well because the trailer rolls well in a straight line. And if we use our specially designed giant thumb steering setter, then the trailer traces out a very nice curve. And if you want to have some fun, you can bounce it up and down. 
One feature on the trailer is that you can remove the two axle dolly by undoing screws and you also have to cut the hose connections. We will keep the model in full configuration but let's stretch it out. And with the beam extended let's do a dim check. Out comes the tape and at full extension the model is 23 inches or 59 centimeters long. All heavy haulage deserves heavy load so let's try it out and we'll add some big lattice boom sections to start with. That looked great so let's follow it up with a heavy crawler track section. And again it's nice to see a trailer loaded. But this model does come with the boom supports for the big Liebherr mobile crane. So let's use those and we'll position them as shown. And then a giant hand crane can bring in the big boom section. This is a really heavy metal part. And it's even a good test for scale model heavy haulage. After some final adjustments we can get the boom supports in the right place. And for a really impressive display we can also add on the mobile crane. This is a really good looking heavy haulage model by IMC Models. The limited edition colour scheme of Havator really stands out and makes for an attractive model. And the detailing and functionality means there are plenty of ways to display it. And with that flexibility it all adds up to an excellent model.